Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a smart UI slider that will essentially, whenever you move the slider, update some custom text off to the side of it and continually update it for us. And you can change the formatting, whether you want decimals or to round it. And we're also gonna be going over how to use different on change methods to this to apply different effects. So before we get started, just wanna remind you down below, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can download this code in the GitHub link, as well as follow us down there on Instagram for live updates as well. If you're not a member already, make sure you join the Discord where we have great discussions on scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit your tutorial ideas, or share products you've worked on. And if you wanna help support the channel, get cool perks, uh, you can become a member, supporter, or VIP and get some cool things like VIP live streams, code in advance, Q&A live streams, and much more. So this script is actually pretty simple. We're gonna start off by creating a new JavaScript file and we'll create a window, set that equal to a new window the type of palettes, and we'll just call it a smart slider with undefined size properties. Then we're gonna make everything in the window go from left to right. In the original example, we had some text that said value, the slider, and then the slider text that changes. So we'll set window.orientation equal to a row, and then we'll create our first text. We'll say value text is equal to our window, and we're gonna add some static text undefined size and we'll just call this our value then we'll create a slider so we'll call this our value slider set this equal to our window as well we're going to create a slider undefined size and we don't need any text we're going to add our own custom text and then we can also set the minimum and maximum of our slider to do this i'll grab my value slider and set the min value equal to like one and then I'll change the max value to maybe 100. And then we can also change the default value, which it's set to when we launch the uh, script. So I'll say value is equal to maybe 50. And then let's go ahead and just grab our window, center it in the middle of the screen, and then grab our window again and show it. So now we're gonna have our slider here with our value text. And now we need to make some text off to the right here to automatically update when we move our slider. So we'll create one more variable called value slider text. Add this to our window. It's gonna be some static text, undefined size. And since our original value is gonna be 50, we're gonna set this equal to 50%. And then what I'm also gonna do to make sure there's enough room for like a larger number like 100, uh, I'm gonna make our value slider text dot characters and make sure it's comfortable with having four characters, which will make it big enough to contain that many. So now we have all of this set up. We just need to add the functionality so that whenever we click on this or change it, that it moves and updates our value. To do this, I'm gonna grab my value slider and we're gonna start with the sort of older method to do things, which for me was the on change method. So we'll grab so we'll say when we change this, we're gonna run a function. And the function, for now, we can just say hello. So whenever we change our slider, it should tell us hello. You can see we're changing it, but I haven't released the mouse. Once I release the mouse, then I'm going to get my hello message. So on change will only update once you've basically completed the action and un unclicked with your mouse. So what we're gonna do, instead of alerting hello, we're gonna change our value slider text. So I'm gonna take my value slider text dot text, and we're gonna set it equal to our value slider dot value. And then we're also gonna to wanna to add that percentage at the end. Now let's go ahead and see how this looks. We should be getting a large amount of decimals, which you can see is getting in the way and not giving enough space. So we're gonna take my value and set it to fixed. And this will just make it a straight integer without any decimals. So now if I go ahead and run this, you can see now it's gonna work perfectly. We can see a nice rounded number plus the percent, but it only appears when we unclick and deselect everything. So what we can actually do to make this work much better is simply change on change to on change gene, which will basically take the act of changing anytime you basically move your mouse while you have it selected or hovered, it will then do it. So now if we run the script, if I just click and drag, 
it's going to automatically update as I do it, not when I uh, uncheck or unselect the slider. So I do recommend using unchanging, but there may be situations where you want to do unchange that are very specific for you. But that's going to do it for this quick tip tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to make a smart slider UI that updates text automatically and smartly. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And of course, down in the description, download the code in the GitHub link. And you can also follow us on Instagram to get updates there. And of course, don't forget to follow us on the Discord, get help with plugins, scripting extensions, and much more. And also join the channel if you'd like to help support and get cool perks at the same time in one of these different tiers. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.